Um, first part of the question, um, even when I left, uh, I told the guys it felt like that 2020 season was an incomplete you know, part of my coaching career just because of COVID and the way things went. So even though leaving and going into a, another program, you know, still felt a little bit of an attachment to uh, University of Michigan and, you know, was an admirer from afar and, you know, watching the success that they had, you know, there was not a happier person than, uh, you know, myself and my family. So when the opportunity that came, came up when Coach Moore called me, you know, felt like it was too good of an opportunity, you know, to, to pass up just because, like I said, there was a lot of attachment, a lot of uh, good things that happened here, uh, even though the, the year didn't go as, as we wanted in 2020, but, um, you know, felt like it was, you know, where I needed to be. Uh, it's been good. Uh, you know, the challenge before we started practice was we, we lost two, you know, big time, you know, linebackers, you know, two of the better linebackers probably to come out of, you know, Michigan in the last, you know, two decades. And uh, Michael Barrett and Junior Colson, two guys, when I said I was an admirer from afar, that I watched closely because, uh, you know, having a personal relationship with both. And I thought they played as high as, high as a level as linebackers, uh, you know, as any group in the country. So we know the bar was set high and, you know, that was the challenge coming in. And um, I, I feel like the guys, uh, you know, are trying to, um, you know, get to that level. Obviously, we're not there yet. Uh, you know, the main guy has been Ernest Hausman, who's kind of taken over that leadership role. And, um, you know, the one thing that I always, you know, was appreciative and watching as a linebacker coach their ability to make adjustments and then coming here and watching the actual games the way that they played the game obviously very very physical and were productive but their ability to adjust to things on the fly was as good as any you know group I've ever seen you know both coaching and uh, you know uh, evaluating as a coach and I think that's the challenge that uh, you know these guys have and like I said Ernest Hausman has been great you know, so far, and we got to get a couple other guys in the room to kind of reach that level.